Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are gonna be doing some mods to the Civic. As you guys can see, the Civic has changed quite a lot actually behind the scenes. I've painted the wheels white, added a new banner, but there's a bunch more other stuff I installed off camera. But I will show you guys that in a different video I guess I guess in a review type of video on the build so today today we are actually gonna be installing ourselves a new we're gonna be installing the shift boot for the Civic and change the shift knob you may be wondering where is the shift boot? Well the when I bought the car the shift boot was already missing. So do not ask me where the shift boot is. I also don't know, probably in a jump cat somewhere. So today we're gonna be installing that. Should be a quick and easy job. Probably will take about 15 minutes at most. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 15 minutes all right so here's the new shift boot original from honda i already opened it actually to double check if there was any hardware uh, screws and they didn't provide me with any because i actually needed two screws they didn't provide any screws this is a genuine honda product i guess so i went on my way and I actually already got myself some hardware if the camera would focus I guess not I actually got some hardware already actually so and then as for the shifter I got myself an original works engineering shifter uh, this is the hash s type HS version version I'm not so sure but it's genuine genuine works engineering and we're gonna re be replacing the current one which is a Momo shift knob and I'm actually gonna be donating the shift knob to a friend of mine who's building his Produa Viva and I really hope he enjoys it so let's get to taking apart the center console so center console is pretty easy to remove actually there's one screw right here another one right here one below the seat somewhere here somewhere right down there and then two at the back one beside the bolster and then one more somewhere behind the seat and the whole center console will come off quite easily actually so yeah the center console should just you put it back and then you just lift it up lift the center console up and move it somewhere else and then And then this center piece is quite easy as well actually. You just pull from here and then you just pull it out. Just have to go over the shift knob and your center console is out. Center console is out. And then the shift boot. Shift boot is gonna go right here. These two tabs will hold these metal tabs and then these I'll just show it to you guys I guess we'll just go in I'm doing everything one handed so it's a bit hard so the tabs there these two is to notch the metal pins in and then you just put a screw there and then you put a screw there and then you'll have a shift boot 
Alright, so I installed the screws in already. It's all screwed in, and then as for the top pieces, like I said, they have these holes where the metal tabs go in to secure the shift foot from moving around. Now, we have a functional shift foot. It's not going anywhere, it's not going down. But first, I need to take off the shift knob, which is just a Let's turn it around, I guess. Let's turn it around. Turn, turn, turn. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> and then I just reinstall this part where the shifter. Make sure. Make sure the shifter goes into the boot. Finesse it, keep finessing until it goes through, just like that. And then you finesse the rest. Send the console until it fits in. Just like that. Ta-da! Shifter will go in here and... So we we'll just... Install is pretty easy actually. Just insert the shift knob and just... Spin, spin. Makes it out, but the sticker is facing the wrong way. So I'm gonna have to peel the sticker back up. Gee, since it's too hard, I'm just gonna unwind it a bit and just adjust it so it's the proper height. And there we go. And I have a shift now. is not on. I'm not gonna put it in first because I don't I don't wanna I don't I don't really wanna I don't really wanna put it in gear without pressing the clutch in fear of damaging the clutch. I don't know if it's a myth or a fact but I'm not gonna risk anything. I've actually the whole center console is now installed it's not moving anywhere and that just Overall, will improve the look of the interior. It's just gonna look a lot, a lot more cleaner, and it's gonna. It feels really good on the hand as well. It's like it's not gonna improve my shifting. It's not gonna do anything much. It's just mostly cosmetics, and just I guess this one reduces the noise coming into the cabin from the transmission. I guess. But, and since it's a damn hot day. I am actually gonna repaint my wiper wi wiper arms because this is actually it's actually bad. It's actually the wiper is actually broken as well. You can see it's not even clipped in. I can literally push pull. Same thing on the other side. The other wiper blade. I keep saying blade. The wiper arm. It has a very rough texture to it. This one has some sort of damage to the pin and this one is yeah it's just also looks like it's broken yeah that's also broken so I'm actually gonna paint those and in hopes of it's not it's actually not really something major but I don't know my mind is like just repaint it I'm gonna paint it matte black so it matches the wipers. I actually have new wiper blades as well. So to remove the wiper arms, it's quite easy. There's this. I'm pretty sure this is 12. 12 millimeters or 14 I don't know you just remove this and then you just pull the arms up and it should just come off
for the first coat to dry a bit and then apply the second coat. I'll probably wait just 5 minutes because the sun is stupidly hot. I'm actually burning up. It's damn hot. Alright, the wipe up arms are done. They look incredible. Flat black. Looks so much cleaner. I love it. It's worth like I don't know, seven bucks, seven ringgit for the paint. And then some sandpaper head lying around at home. There's the other one. I think this is the driver's side since it's a bit longer. I think. I don't know. Actually, yeah, this is the driver's side. It's so much better. Looks so much cleaner. So I'm gonna install the wiper blades on while the wiper arms are off the car. Because it's easier. So, here's the new wiper blades. Bosch, German company, German brand, of course it's made in China, but that does not matter, as long as I have wipers on my car. So I'm gonna install the blades onto the arms, and I'm gonna put you guys on my tripod. And the install is complete. It's in there, tight. New blades. And it just, it's a small stuff. Small stuff makes a difference sometimes. And this definitely, okay, it's not, it's not perfect, but it's better. Like, 10 times better so yeah and I guess that's the end for today so we, so we repainted the wiper arms changed the wiper blades we installed ourselves a new shift knob and a new shift boot it's dark you guys can't see but we did install the shift boot That's it for today. So there's more mods coming for the Civic. Uh, since I will be joining Cars 2024, I'm gonna try to make it look even more nicer. With no, no, I'm thinking of a new lip, but at the same time. My bumper is in very bad condition actually. It's not bad condition but the, the fitting is <laughs> It's very crap. I can't I can't fix it. I tried to fix it. Um this is probably due to it being a a copy bumper I guess like a Taiwan bumper and not original Japan or even Thailand. I don't know but the fitting is really bad <laughs> on this side actually it's really bad but on this side the fitting is really mint it's like barely any gaps don't mind the headlamp there's barely any gaps except for this massive gap and this also so yeah I'm thinking of buying a new bumper soon I've already did my research, found some bumpers online, original from a Japanese half cut. I think it was like 400 ringgit. So, yeah. So, yeah. I guess you guys should stay tuned. You guys should also subscribe, like the video, share it to your friends. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.